guys, I'm Steven, and in this video, I'm going to tell you about the navigation aspect of moving our convoy on hurricanes. All right, guys, so once we're on here, we're going to stay until we get to the exit for 133. We'll let you know when that's coming up. Do we have an update on what the next exit's going to be? I was talking to Smiley, and basically we'll ride this all the way out, and then we'll get on 520. Once we get off, we'll be taking a right. Hey, Marky. Go ahead, NAVCOM. Yeah, so we're going to stay on this road for about 23 miles, and we'll get right on to 75. 10 yeah, good copy. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and go up and look at where we're going in so we can help navigate that. Caleb and Steven are on their way to the front, so we'll just follow them. Hey, Parker. Go ahead. Hey, how are we looking back there? Yeah, we're in great shape back here. You're all doing a great job. Uh, Smiley and Steven are working on a, a place up here to pull off. So one of the things that I do, in addition to making all the videos that you see, is I am also the navigator. And so as the navigator, I work with Smiley, who's our lead big truck driver, and Marquis, who is in charge of our convoy operations, to look at the routes and kind of see what route we need to take to get our convoy from point A to point B. So today we we're driving down to Lake City, Florida to stage in before the storm comes in. So we had the address of where we're going. Last night we were looking over the route, seeing what the best option is because you have to remember when there are evacuations that can really slow down interstate traffic so one of the things that we decided to do today was to completely avoid going through Atlanta so we went on highway 27 and kind of swung out and now we're going towards Valdosta where we'll get back on 75 to get into Florida and Lake City. There's a lot of different factors that go into it. So one of the challenges that you run into when you're running a convoy of anywhere from 15 to 30 vehicles is making sure that everybody knows where you're going because the last thing that you wanna deal with is 30 people, each with their own GPS, having a different route of where to get to this place. We break up and it just becomes a disaster. So we need to make sure that everybody knows where we're going and what route we're taking. And this truck has a couple tools that we use that help with the navigation process. So in this truck, I have a mount for my laptop, which is fantastic because it allows me not only to edit and make our videos on the road, but it gives me a platform to be able to pull up satellite images or Google Earth, services from the DOT so I can check on road closures, and it also provides just a bigger screen so we can get a good overview of what we're trying to do. My phone is also hooked up to this truck and we use Apple CarPlay so that we can see the route that we're taking. Sometimes we use Waze, sometimes we use Google Maps or Apple Maps, whatever works best. So we wanna make sure that the entire convoy can get through whatever route it is that we take with no issues. The nice thing about having Smiley as our lead big truck driver is he has a lot of experience. We actually did a video with Smiley where he shares some of his stories. If you're interested, check that out. But what's great about that is Smiley is basically like a human GPS. Smiley, as a truck driver, has driven these roads hundreds of times, if not thousands, and knows where he's going, if there's any potential problems, and he knows that if he's been on a route before, that it'll work with all the big trucks in the convoy. So he's a huge asset to the team. Another thing that's important is looking at intersections because when you have a lot of big trucks you have to make sure that whatever route you're taking is suitable for them the last thing we want to do is get a big convoy with seven semis in a place where they can't turn or the roads are too narrow so we use different maps and satellite views to kind of see if there are any potential problems and then adjust the route accordingly my job as the navigator is to help the convoy get to where we need to go from point a to point b but also be looking for any potential problems that may occur due to the storm or due to the selected route or whatever it is. And all of this information would be useless if we didn't have good communication. The convoy needs to know what's going on. So each of the trucks in the convoy has a radio so that we can communicate clearly and effectively. So we use the radios to let everyone in the convoy know when we have a turn that's coming up or if there's a change to the route or any other information that they might need to know, like if a car was stopped on the shoulder and we needed to get over, or if there was some sort of hazard in the road, the front of the convoy would let everyone know. And since we're doing navigation out of this truck, we try to stay towards the front of the convoy most of the time, and I'm being driven by my fearless driver, Caleb. And we all do a lot of multitasking, so a lot of times I'm in here editing videos and putting them out for you guys as we're on the road, so sometimes Caleb will take over the navigation for me, and we kind of work together to make sure that we know what's going on, We'll talk to Smiley a lot of times because, like I said, he has a lot of information. We'll make sure that we have a good plan in place before we relay it to the rest of the convoy. At the end of the day, all we're trying to do is make sure that our convoy moves quickly 
efficiently and safely. And that's important because we want to make sure that we can get where we're going so we can restore the affected areas as quickly as possible. Thank you guys for checking out this video. If you want to learn more about our hurricane operations, check out some of the other videos on our channel. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, do all that good stuff. We're going to be putting out several videos each day while we're out on Hurricane Milton, so make sure that you follow along so you can see what's happening. And that's important because we want to make sure that we can get where we're going so we can restore the affected areas as quickly as possible. Finally. You're doing great, Steven.